Hi everybody, this is Matt with Octo Aquatics here. I'm making this video because most people do know that Steve's LEDs makes the best uh, LED light for bio cubes where you don't have to modify the hood, take it off, or anything. They're absolutely phenomenal. And I purchased the BioCube 32 gallon kit from them with the Bluefish controller, which I absolutely love. However, the Bluefish controller does have some downfalls, mainly being the app. So the app is a little bit hard to learn. The instructions are pretty much non-existent out there. Support's good if you want to contact them through email and wait for them to reply. But most people don't want to spend the time to do that. So I do see a lot of you out there asking, how do I set up my uh, Steve's LED lights through the Bluefish controller? So it's actually pretty simple. Now, I personally like to have full control over my lighting. And I don't use any of the custom settings that they have. So I'm going to show you how to do it custom to the color you want, the intensity, and the times. So when you pull up the Steve's LED Bluefish app, your screen may look a little bit different. It may have some information there in the center where I have a big X. Don't worry about that. The first step you're going to do is in the upper right-hand corner, click on the cog, the settings cog. On the bottom, click on extras. On the bottom, click on custom schedule preview. And then on the bottom, click on uh, custom schedule. Make sure enable custom scheduler is enabled. Now your lighting schedule is going to look a little different than mine, than mine because I do have mine customized already. But if you notice, you see in the screen those dots. If you click on a dot, it's going to tell you the time it starts, what color is chosen to start, and what intensity. And on the uh, Steve's, you have, you're have you going to be dealing with the blue channel and the white channel. So what time do I want this light to come on, this color, and at what intensity? And this is where you get to play around. So at the very top, you can see previous and next, so you can shuffle through what happens next, what happens after that, and you'll notice the sliders on the bottom are going to change intensities as the day progresses for me. And pay attention to the times as well. Now I do run my lights later in the day because I like to have them home on at night when I'm actually at home. And it's going to start to ramp down now at night. And at the very end of the night... You can see the blue is at 0.1, and if I go to the very beginning at 12 a.m., it's at 0.1 for blue. That's to give it a very nice, subtle lunar light effect, which works phenomenally. And like I said, you're just going to have to create these. At the top, you see that Add button, and there's a Delete button. So you're going to customize your schedule however you want it. Now here's a little tip is that if you set the blues to come on at 930 at one intensity and you want to ramp it up and you don't want it until full intensity uh, later on, say in an hour, well it's going to ramp up during that hour. So mine looks a little different from other people's because I don't like to have a super long ramp period before the intensity changes. So I've added very close increments. So I'm going to start at the beginning again. My blue comes on, is going to start ramping at 9.30. Blue is still at 0.1, the lunar light setting. When I go to next, at 10 o'clock, by 10 o'clock, it's going to be at 40. Then at 1.30, the blue is still going to be at 40, but by 2 o'clock, it's going to be at 75. My whites are now going to be at 20. 
So it's accounting for very small ramping periods. And then next, I put in the same settings because this is where I want it to start ramping down. So 930 to 10 o'clock, it's going to go down to 40 blue, zero whites, which is where it started before. And then, again, I want it to start ramping down at 1130. And by 1159, it's going to be down at point 0.1 for the blues. So each time you want it to start ramping, I add added new increments so that you don't have ramps over hours and hours. Then at the end, you're going to click the Save button at the bottom. Oh, you can also preview it too. So it'll preview it in real time on your tank. It'll go through very quickly. Sometimes you can't always tell what it's doing because it's so fast. But it gives you a quick preview. Then when you're all done, you click on the Exit button at the bottom. It's going to save it, and you are done. So again, it is very, very easy. If you need help, you can contact me through my website at octoaquatics.com. If you haven't purchased a Steve's LED unit yet, I highly suggest you contact them. Yeah, they are a little pricey, but they are absolutely worth it in my opinion. These are the best diodes I've ever used, and I've been even making my own custom LED lights for years now. These are so simple, easy to install, and the quality is terrific. So if you are interested in purchasing one, I suggest you contact Jeff through the Steve's LEDs website. Tell them Matt at Octo Aquatics referred you, and he will definitely take care of you. So again, if you have any questions, you can contact me, you can contact them. I don't get paid by them. I just love their lights and how easy they are to use. And I do know a little bit about them because there's not a lot of information out there. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.